Hey, Psych2Goers, and welcome back to another video. Have you ever heard of CPTSD? You may have heard of PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder. We usually associate it with people who have experienced a traumatic event. The condition causes intense anxiety around the traumatic event, which can manifest in intrusive thoughts, flashbacks, or nightmares, among many other signs. However, the lesser known condition is called complex post-traumatic stress disorder or CPTSD. While there are certain aspects of it that are similar to PTSD, it is a separate type of condition. In this video, we'll give you a brief overview of CPTSD, as well as resources to seek help. But before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. If you suspect you may have any form of PTSD or any mental health condition, we highly advise you to seek help from a qualified mental health professional. Let's begin. What is the difference between PTSD and CPTSD? The main difference between PTSD and CPTSD is the duration of the traumatic event. PTSD is typically triggered by a specific or a series of events in a short period of time, while CPTSD is caused by a series of traumatic events over a long period of time. The traumatic events can take place over several months to several years. Like all forms of PTSD, CPTSD may lead to other issues, including but not limited to addiction, depression, anxiety, and changes in personality among many more if left untreated. What causes CPTSD? While CPTSD is still being researched, it's believed that long-term trauma and repeated traumatic events create different effects than what is normally understood as PTSD. Dr. Sonia Bruner from BetterHelp describes CPTSD as an issue involving safety. For example, those who grew up in an abusive household may lack a feeling of safety. This constant fear of physical, emotional, or psychological harm in childhood can cause problems later in life. Living in a war-torn country is also another instance where the basic feeling of safety is shattered. Feeling unsafe, especially for an extended period of time, can cause trust issues and issues with hyperarousal. Each person experiences and handles trauma in different ways, making CPTSD a challenging topic to study. What are the symptoms of CPTSD? Since CPTSD is closely related to PTSD, the symptoms often overlap. Flashbacks and or nightmares related to the traumatic event are big indicators. Avoidance is another symptom in which you avoid situations that remind you of the event. Hyperarousal is another where you experience intense anxiety surrounding an event and anything that may remind you of it. People with CPTSD in particular may experience relationship issues, difficulty controlling emotions, negative self-view, and detachment from the trauma, which may manifest in derealization and depersonalization. Other mental health conditions may also develop. Seeking help early on this is highly recommended as these symptoms may worsen over time. How do I know to get help? According to the Mayo Clinic, if you're having disturbing thoughts or feelings related to a traumatic event for more than a month, you should seek help from a doctor or mental health professional. If these thoughts and feelings are severe, then you should seek help sooner. Acting sooner can help prevent it from worsening. As with any condition, thoughts of suicide should be treated as an emergency by calling your local emergency service number. How is CPTSD diagnosed? Since CPTSD is a relatively newly discovered condition, most people will likely be diagnosed with just PTSD. Typically, the process involves working with a doctor to analyze your behaviors, past events, as well as looking into family history. For CPTSD specifically, they may look at your past relationships and emotional control, as well as analyze the traumatic events you've experienced. What are some treatments available for CPTSD? There are many options for treatment. Forms of therapy such as cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT may help. Medication may also be used alongside CBT. Otherwise, some professionals may use eye movement desensitization and reprocessing, EMDR particularly for treating post-traumatic stress disorder. Did you find this video insightful? Let us know any thoughts on the matter in the comments below. We hope this video helped shed some light on CPTSD. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.